It's beginning to look a lot like Vlogmas. Love that. Good morning. Okay, good morning you guys. So welcome back to Vlogmas. We are bright and early, it is 7 a.m. This is the new life, guys, okay? Usually this one, well he was up at like six today and Hunter came down and made him a bottle, brought it back up and we fed him in bed and then it kind of hung out for, I don't know, a little bit in bed but he, um, he was ready to get up. You was talking and you was making noise and you was saying, let's play. So, um, usually one of us will get up with him around that time and come downstairs and we play for like an hour until our nanny gets here because this is my special time with Smokey. Um, and Hunter and I usually switch off like just whatever, whoever can like muster up the energy to get up with him that morning is what we do. Right? Right. So sweet, babe. Um, so, yeah, it's my special little morning time with him. I usually make a coffee, um, and I swear, well, I never really liked getting up early before having kids, but I would say this is like the number one hardest thing for me is um, getting up early. I just, it's like, because you don't ever get, it, like, it's different like when during the week when you're an adult and you're like oh i'm getting up early to go to work and then you get like saturday and sunday and you know you get to sleep in but you never get a break with the baby like you never get to sleep in so it's just sort of like this like marathon of like thinking oh my god i get up early but it's probably honestly my fault and we just have to go to bed earlier but i get in bed at like 8 30 and then i don't go to bed till like 11 because as you also know it's like then it's like your sort of your downtime to like do i don't know just be like mentally off and sometimes that is nice for just like an hour or two at night and you just i don't know anyways um so those are my woes for the day but they're they are not bad because i would do anything for that smile it's seriously like good job good job i think you like the camera maybe to you, are you gonna be a performer when you just bigger? You're just cute. Um, yeah, when I see, like, I lean over and I see that smile, I'm like, oh, I'll just do anything. It's like a heart melter. I just don't even mind getting up because I know it's gonna be just so cute and I, like, just can't wait to see that smile. It puts me in the most wonderful mood ever. Anyways, <clears throat> okay. I thought we would maybe go through some of Smokey's Christmas presents or just present recommendations that I would have for anywhere from, I mean, he's six months, so it could be if your baby's anywhere from like three, well, honestly, newborn, um, newborn up to like probably like nine months, I would say these would fit. I'm finding that during like the first year, like pretty much you can buy a lot of stuff for like the first year and it's gonna, I mean, they change a lot, but not like enough where like you're getting like a ton of like really active toys like the first year is pretty it's pretty mellow i feel like so yes let's do that let's do it toy recommendation number one is the skip hop activity center okay guys this thing game changer i find obviously you know if you have a baby that when they're really little it's sort of hard to like find things to play with them um like you're just entertaining them all the time, like trying to hold them up or 
like if they're on the ground they like want you to pay attention to them obviously like as they should but this is like the one thing that i feel like he can do sort of like independently and it's really good for them to practice sort of like standing and building core strength he like loves to stand as you guys know he loves to like balance and do like all that stuff so this was like a no-brainer because i'm like i know he wants to practice putting his feet down and standing so this is just good for like building i don't know those little muscles and getting to try and like pretend that he's standing and then he loves all the toys on it so if you'll literally like I made almost all of our um, dinner salad last night while he was in this thing and that was probably like at least 30 minutes. So I mean if you can like cook a whole meal or prepare lunch and coffee or like fold laundry while the baby is like playing, it's like amazing. So he loves it. Um, even our nanny was like, oh my god, this is so good. So you can practice standing and everything like that. Um, and she's like really into child development so she will always be like, I think we should get this or that and we talk about it. So um i just got this one on a whim but she was like wonderful yeah. she loved it so it's really cute he loves it definitely recommend and this specific one turns into a little toddler table after so there's like this little piece at the bottom that he's standing on and you just like unclip it and and remove the toy and the seat and there's like this cove and you just put the lid on and then you can it's like a little activity table um which oh my god i cannot wait for those days like coloring play-doh all that stuff it's gonna be so fun it's gonna be so fun i love you recommendation number two which i'm sure you already have this bouncer if you have a baby um but if you don't have it definitely get it another key place to be able to like set them down they can bounce um okay let's put him in it and see what he does he might not he just got out of that thing so i don't like to put them from seat to seat but sometimes you gotta do it but i'll just show you okay so this is really great yeah also if like you're cooking or like doing a chore or something and you just kind of want them to be hanging out but they don't want to be like on the floor on their back or something um i'll put it on the counter or on the ground when we're cooking when we're eating and you can like bounce them with your foot um he'll also just sit in it by himself and like bounce himself i thought he didn't like it until i got the the toy bar and then once i got that game changer he would sit in it and even he doesn't like he'll spin them and stuff but i think he just likes to have the bar to hold on to he'll like practice pulling himself up um it's just like very convenient to have and it's like it's just another i don't know little resting point i guess you could say so very handy really really great all right next thing we are getting <laughs> is <clears throat> actually um our nanny and i were just talking about this that he is like getting way more active like he wants to move around a ton on the floor he does tons of floor time and he flips over a lot he's rolling he's just like exploring his body way more and he kind of like spits up a lot like he's he when he's flipping and rolling more now it's like he's moving space versus where he used to just kind of like lay in one spot um, and he'll spit up and stuff like that. So we talked about getting like a little play mat. So I think it's time for a play mat. And I think that's a good thing to get <clears throat> anywhere around this time. Or you can get it earlier if you want. Just like stored in the closet. Um, I was looking at these House of Noah ones. Or Noe, N-O-A. They're really aesthetic and cute. So I'm going to get one of those. And they like fit into the decor. They're like beige and gray and stuff like that. They also have colorful ones if you want that, but they're very cute. So I'm gonna get one for down here so he can just like play and roll and do his thing. And then I'm also gonna get one for his nursery and I might do like a little more colorful one for his nursery, like colors with letters. Like I know it's sort of obnoxious, but I think that they like it and it would be fun. So I think I might do that and um, easy to clean up like sped up or other things. They're foamy and squishy. So I think that's another toy idea and it's really good. So we're gonna get one of those and I think he'll like it. What you think? What you think? Are you going Superman for us? <gasps> Yum. Oh my goodness. Okay. Happy Vlogmas. 
Okay, some other gift ideas. These are for my mother-in-law. She got him this cute little elephant. I think anything that like sort of rocks when he's starting to sit up and like, you know, kind of crawl and have more core strength, um, that will be really cute. So it's probably a little early for him, but we've already put him in it a few times and he laughs when he's in it. So he'll probably start to like it more. And then this is a walker. <sighs> very aesthetically pleasing and it's wood but I think this will be really cute when he um is just practicing walking I haven't put him in it yet we have to put it together but he loves to stand so I think this would be good it has a little bar and they can push it any sort of walker I think is kind of a good idea at this age <clears throat> a high chair which I think um, a high chair is also the perfect thing to get for Christmas because I feel like half the presents are like for the adults and then half are for the baby, but uh, just things like playing mats and high chairs and stuff like that. Um, it can't hurt to have multiple, like you could take that one traveling or you can have it like just somewhere else if you need like a backup one. So always good to have. And then I probably am also gonna order him some little like eating tools. So like spoons, placemats, bowls, things like that because we're about to start solids. So that's gonna be really cute. And um, yeah, so I think that's a really good idea to get. Even if you're not gonna start solids for a few months, maybe you put it on your Christmas list or that's just another good idea. She also got him this little Fisher Price DJ table. It's like a little DJ table. He can like click and do all the things. So love that, very cute. And it stands up like on legs. So it's like a little table they can stand at and like play music. So cute. I'm making some leftover steak from last night. And just like a few little slices and some eggs, some snake and, steak and eggs and some beef tallow. I'm trying to go a little bit more carnivorous, carnivorous. And I try to stick to a carnivore diet as close as possible. The beef tallow I use by Fat Works, um, Whole 30 approved. Steak, eggs, avocado. Last like mom talk and then I'll move on because I know not everyone's moms, but I actually did meet one of you guys in person the other day. Um, you were visiting Nashville at a coffee shop with your husband and you, she, um, the subscriber had a two month old, I think, and it was their first trip away from the baby. And so she was like, I love all the baby updates and like baby stuff in the videos. And I was like, I do too like I love talking about it because I if you're like a parent or you have a baby like I love hearing like what other people are doing or their tips or it's just like because it's your whole world you you know want to know about it um so I apologize if you don't have a, a baby that this might be kind of boring but I just know the moms like we're we're all here for it so other thing I just wanted to mention is that we are starting solid soon. Probably during Vlogmas, actually, we'll be starting solids. Um, and I just have smoked six months pediatrician uh, check in next week. Yes. So it's coming up really soon. And I just want to, like, check with her and make sure she, we're all clear on, like, solids and, like, have the conversation. At the five-month checkup, she was like, let's just wait till six months. I would recommend. I was like, okay, great. But he's very interested, like, I mean, definitely wants to try food. Uh, so I'm just ready to start. I think it'll be a fun activity for him to do too. Like, I'm just excited. And you totally don't have to start them on solids until like literally a year. Anything under a year, it's just for fun, getting them used to the texture and stuff. So I have heard a really good thing about Little Spoon. This is not sponsored, but um, ordered a bunch of their little purees. They are the cleanest thing that you can find. They are, um, they come frozen or refrigerated, whatever. And they're literally just like all organic and the ingredients are literally like water, sweet potato, lemon juice. That's it. Like it is like clean, clean, clean. There's no additives. And they have like savory squash with chicken bone broth, like just cute little purees, uh, bone broth, garlic, butternut squash, cilantro 
and lemon juice like very clean ingredients there is no crap in here so i am gonna start with these um instead of like i don't i know like pouches are good too applesauce things like that but um so i'll probably try a bunch of different things but little spoon is what we're gonna do i think and then um we'll also like cook some food for him too and maybe puree it up but I think these are just really easy if you're busy, but they're so cute. So I have a bunch in the freezer and they're just frozen and I can de-thaw them as we get started. But I am like all set up for the solid mission and I'm very, very excited about it. I just think it'll be fun to like have, I don't know, just like something else to do, something else to explore. It's my, my favorite thing about having a baby is like trying all the new things. Um, getting to test and see like how they react to stuff like a new toy it's just so much fun and very like entertaining and I can't wait for him to be in the kitchen with us because that is just such a like big part of I don't know we cook all the time and I'm always in the kitchen I just want to put him in his chair and have him try little things and um yeah I just think it'll be nice to like integrate that part of him into our lives so Anywho, okay, Nanny just got here and took Smokey up, so it's time to get the day started. I think Hunter and I are actually skipping the gym today because he has a dentist appointment, and um, I have an appointment later, and we've got like some work stuff to catch up on. We've been uh, every day this week, so I think today we're just gonna take the day off. Okay, Hunter and I got back probably a four, little, four, days ago. four days ago and we still haven't unpacked. So it's time, that's like we are <clears throat> unpacking. Like we're doing it right now. Um, and just started some laundry. We got new suitcases right before we left from CalPAC actually. Um, and we each got, we needed, our luggage was so bunko, it was like... It was falling apart. Literally, I don't even know like, where we got from, it was like dollar store vibes, just like, it was, it was so crappy. We like needed nice luggage, so we each ordered a little set. Usually the two that we, signs we use the most when we travel is like one big Check, one. One large check bag and then a carry-on size. Carry-on size. So um, we both got little sets. Both of our styles are from the Every Collection and I saw the chocolate. This is a limited edition color and you guys know my obsession with brown this season. So I really wanted the brown color and I wanted something other than black for me but I didn't want like a super bright color. So What's wrong I with black? Well, it's, it's <laughs> oh, no, good I'm for a girl. I'm just like, oh, it's cute, and this is a nice alternative, but it's still neutral and looks very chic. Yeah, it's kind of smoky. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we used this one for smoke when we traveled as well, so I had the big black one, smoke had the small black one. Yes. And Juliet had the uh, large one. The large one. I left this one at home. These actually come with packing cubes as well as part of the set. So yeah, you get the big awesome. one, the, like the big check bag, you get the carry-on, as well as the packing cubes that come with it. Love that. It's a set of five packing cubes. That's perfect. And you can use it in either one. And I like, I never, I mean, I, I try to use packing cubes as much as often, but um, as often as I can, but ever since having a baby, packing cubes for packing baby stuff is key because the stuff is so small and it's always like dangling little socks and everything and you just separate it by like pajamas, outfits. Helps you stay organized clothes. and yeah. you can like even organize it by the outfits and stuff like that. Totally. Which is nice. Um, but we loved these. They're like, they were so practical. Very. And they, they held up really nicely. Like we put them in the bed of my truck and like yeah. no dents, nothing like that. Um, which would be nice for when you travel. Totally. And we're going to California in a few weeks. So we're gonna, we just needed like new luggage. I feel like this is actually a great gift idea. They extended their Cyber Monday sale all the way through December 4th. The whole site is 60% off. Yeah, which is so crazy. a few more days. So 60% off. Um, and I feel awesome. like this chocolate is so pretty to get for somebody as a gift. I think luggage is like one of those things that you never want to buy for yourself. No. So I think that's a really good idea to buy for Great someone. Great gift for a partner, a sibling, stuff like that. They like, spend 360 on wheels. We should um, actually get some for your sister, for Angelica. 
We she's should. That's a really good idea. Yeah. yeah. She's always like borrowing bags. I know. She does herself. not have luggage. But they have a ton of different stuff. These aren't the only things they have on the site, but they have what, six different colors of these? Six different colors in our style. Um, and then they have other things. I actually got a duffel. I thought was so cute as well for traveling on the airplane. Look how cute. Um, and this, very... I think, yeah, is like a big bestseller for them. I mean, perfect like size. You fit laptops, all of your baby stuff. Um, and it's like that squishy material. So, it's so really juice. cute. So me. I know. Um, and this will be just so great for travel. I'm very excited about it. Really good diaper bag. Really have, good uh, diaper bag. The pockets for the bottle and stuff. Yeah, it's nice and big too. It's like a little, it's like a mini duffel. Um, so this is perfect. And I know I've seen a ton of people with this bag. And I think it also comes in the chocolate. But I just thought it would be cute to get the berry color. Yeah, I got a black gym bag as well. It's downstairs that I'll be taking to like Soho House if I ever want to go get in the sauna or something like that. Obviously, we still need to unpack, but I'll kind of show you what it looks like on the inside. And you want ones that are like stylish and, you know, not super expensive, so they're good. Here's a quick glance of what's inside. Obviously, like, still need to unpack and it's kind of like disorganized, but they have one side with the mesh netting. You got shoe pockets. I actually just put like my socks and underwear in here. And I had like 10 RX bars in here and what, 50 elements? That yeah, we, we ate all of them. <laughs> and then. Yeah, just more hats and shirts and stuff. But anyways, like, so much room. I think we had, I had two pairs of boots in here, four pairs of shoes, and then all my clothes for a full week. So, yeah, held everything. Fits plenty. With uh, plenty of room to spare. And I got this little pouch you could, like, I don't know, put jewelry in or something. Yeah. Anyways, we loved the hard shell. The luggage we had before was more of, like, a material, and it just gets, like, the hard, caught and yeah. torn and worn out. And these should last a very long time. So really okay. excited about that. And they look nice. Like it's nice to walk through the airport with like bags that look nice. Clean luggage for sure. Um, so yeah, you guys take advantage of the sale through December 4th, uh, 60% off, which is crazy. Get yourself a little set. I'll include the info in the description down below. These exact ones we got. As and, well as like Julia's little tote bag. And um, if you guys click that link, you'll automatically get the 60% off. You don't have to add a code or anything. Just click it there and it will already be like all set. So go shop, um, get some gifts or get them for yourself. Good time to upgrade. I have a dentist appointment in 30 minutes. Okay. And I gotta go fill out some forms. Okay, I'm gonna, I need um, to unpack right now. So I need to unpack, but I feel like I have to do it before I get back. That's fine. the day mm. I have an appointment here in a little bit I have to say this elf halo glove oh my god this stuff is amazing like basically I've always wanted to be like a no foundation girl for like daily wear but sometimes I feel like when I get really pale in the winter I like want something to can up my face um and i bet like the drug elephant bronzing drops would probably be like perfect for that but i feel like this kind of serves the same purpose like it'll give you a little bit of tan and color i got shade five so it's like a tanner shade it's basically a knockoff of the charlotte tilbury uh hollywood flawless filter which i also have in a lighter color so i feel like they are pretty comparable um and yeah i don't know i find the elf one is like just as good but it basically just gives you this like really light glow and most importantly what i like is that it gives me a little bit of color like wash all over my face so i don't look dead um so i really love that but that product is a slay so I'll do that. I've been doing that like daily and I love it. And my other love right now is the Patrick Ta pink blush, which I have been like ending my makeup with. And it just gives that like perfect baby doll, like pink cheek. Oh, so cute. So 
dibs for life you guys um it is literally the best thing ever and so easy i don't know which one is yeah i want this one okay right now i'm on shade three i love it it is the easiest thing to use if you're nervous or think that you suck at makeup it is the best thing in the world it's so easy and the brush this is what makes it I mean look at this you literally just tap 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 and you get a seamless blend they know exactly what they're doing when they made this brush and their product is so good i've just i'm a ride or die dips girl i really love it so i think if you don't own this get yourself it for christmas or the brush and a contour stick is a really cute gift um even like i have it on my beauty gift guide and my sister dm'd me after i showed it one day and she was like what shade am i and i was like get shade two she's a little bit more fair than me and i was like you also need the brush so i'm like i can't get that for her now but she basically bought it for herself so i'm like you get the vibes but she knows what's up so so this is where the patrick ta comes in handy so i go in with the cream and i tap 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 oh so pretty i feel like to it like no matter what skin tone you are it just looks good on everybody like i've seen it on multiple people and i'm like damn that is just gorgeous so there's that and then i'll always i take the other side of the dibs brush this is the one i blend with the cream and then the powder and i just like kind of set it and it just pops guys it looks so good it's like that kylie kind of jenner pink cheek i'm not even really like a kylie ride or die but her makeup right now is really good so anyways that's like sort of my base and then i just do like a little wing and like mascara but that's like my current everyday little base um unless i'm doing the gym then i do my merit bronzer which is like super lightweight this is too heavy for the gym like i don't do this much weight for the gym i do literally the merit bronzer because it's so light it just gives you like a little color and they're like concealer stick and that's all um their blushes are also so pretty if you want like a little bit more of a natural look so that's what i like for the gym but okay i need to get dressed all right i just got back from the dentist and i basically the tooth that broke is no, can't be recovered and I thought I had a root canal there when I was a kid but I didn't I just had a crown and a filling on that tooth anyways it's cracked and broken so much that they can't recover it basically I have to have it pulled and get a um, what's like a fake tooth called an implant at some point but they said I need to get my wisdom tooth next to it pulled also and all my wisdom teeth are all like janky and like grown in different ways. And I should have got my wisdom teeth out like a few years back, but one of them's in a nerve. It was kind of risky, so I said no. But now I'm gonna go ahead and get my wisdom teeth out. I'm gonna get that tooth pulled, and I need to make appointments for that. So, anyways, um, it's all gonna be fine. But I just gotta get that tooth pulled and my wisdom teeth pulled. So I'll probably do that in January after the holidays settle down. Anyways, I got some work I gotta do. I'm also meeting my friend to play some golf. We're gonna play nine holes. Um, we've been talking about getting out for like a few weeks now and I kinda keep pushing it off because we've been busy. But it's a nice day out. I'm gonna go get outside for like a couple hours, play nine holes of golf and then come home and continue working. So it'll be a nice little like lunchtime break. I was telling Julie today that we need to get more sleep. Like our sleep has been really bad lately. Even when we were in Texas, um, I was getting up and going to like F45 with my cousin or my brother-in-law each morning at like 7.30, um, which isn't that early necessarily, but when you're on like a holiday trip where you're trying to like catch up on rest and relax, um, it was probably not smart for me to be like getting up early every morning after going to bed late and taking care of smoke in the middle of the night, stuff like that. So. Anyways, we're just behind on sleep and we need to get more sleep So I was telling her a little bit ago like we need to start going to bed earlier Especially if 
for how early we're waking up right now with smoke at like six in the morning we shouldn't be going to bed like at 11 30 so we usually get more sleep and we're taking care of our bodies like from a dietary standpoint working out we're fairly healthy but like the sleep i um, i've never been someone that like needs much sleep and i can just kind of keep going um, i have a lot of energy for the first time ever i'm like i gotta catch up on sleep like i need sleep for me to function so yeah, we're going to work on that during Vlogmas and hopefully get better about going to bed earlier. And I might start going to bed when we put smoke down to like 7, just like hitting the hay and peacing out. Alright, I'm going to quit rambling. I'm going to get to work. Alright, I just had to run out for an appointment. I'm home and I am going to prep one of my other recipes for tonight. Guys, I, like I said, not a planner so i'm really having to plan now with momhood to like make sure everything gets done there's like really no other way you have to plan so um i am doing a green chicken enchilada crock pot soup recipe i found on i think pinterest i'm trying to get my crock pot out sorry where is it and so we're gonna throw that together right now it needs to cook for a couple of hours so oh it's over here Let's do that. Organic chicken. Kettle on fire chicken broth. Some siete green enchilada seasoning. We've got our chicken thighs in here. And then I got the siete green enchilada sauce. Siete is really good ingredients. Pretty clean. We're going to pour that all over. 24 ounces of chicken broth. And we're just going to let that chicken cook for six hours it's it on low so i might go high because it's already 2 30 and i need it to be ready 2 30 3 30 4 30 5 30 6 30 7 30 so i only have really five hours so yeah i'm gonna go high um and then once that's all shredded then we'll add in all the other stuff okay just took the chicken out. I'm going to, sh I shredded it. I'm gonna put it back in. I don't think it was quite ready to be shredded, but mom was on a time crunch, so we did it anyways. Hi, sweetie baby. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. You shouldn't get in the habit of touching this because this is usually no, you hot. Silly. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah. Put, no, 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 eat that. That's what I made. Do you want to put, shred some cheese? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Stop. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Play it again. Play it. You was in my belly. You was in my belly when we did that. This looks so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Smoke just grabbed my bowl and almost tipped it over, and I forget that he's getting there. Getting there. You like it? I give this a nine two out of ten. Wow. Yummy. That is a good score from Hunter. Yeah. I'm it's like really I'm good flavors. Honored. It is good flavors, huh? Yeah. It kind of tastes like deconstructed enchiladas. It does. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Make sure to crush chips on top. Alright. We're going to eat dinner and give Smokey a little bath. We're going to try to get to bed early tonight, as mm -hmm. we talked about earlier. But we got we got plenty of time to still be in bed early. Do we have any like melatonin? No. I don't think so. Can we run and get us some? Welcome yeah, to the like table. A, Welcome to the conversation. I need like a melatonin gummy. Are you my chief editor? <laughs> You're looking over the content. Chief editor of Vlogmas. Oh, we have that um, beam. We have the dream chocolate. We could drink that. Ah. Here we go. Yay, 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 yay. Yay, yay, yay. You're almost going on your bath towels. Those are so cute. 
<laughs> you can ask awesome. Half the time this feeding is like his favorite where he just like sucks the bottle down. The other half sometimes it's like he's, he's like almost like too tired. To, I think so. And he's like fighting the tiredness and he's just like cranky. Yeah. I think you're going to get like half and half on this one. I think so too. I think I'll get like a couple minutes and then he's going to like start arching his back. And that's when I know he's just done and he's tired. Also, I think we should switch to the size three nipples on the bottles. Well, we switched to two like a few months three back. Months ago. Yeah, now it's time. You're Smoke. So I love you in dark colors. You look gorgeous in dark colors. You're getting so long. Just like daddy. You're getting tall. He's you're growing up. Coloring. Oh, here we go. There's the oh, arch. Uh -huh. Okay, just a couple more sips. And we'll All right, I'm going to turn the light off just to like help him wind Thank down. Um, and I'll see you downstairs when you're done. Okay. I love you, buddy. Good night. Kisses. Bye. Huh? I mean, a lot of new hats. Well, I... You went hard. <laughs> Holy crap. Waggle is a hat brand that I really like. It's actually a golf brand, and I really like their hats. It's like the only hats I wear on the golf course if I'm wearing like a golf style hat. It's called Waggle, and a lot of y'all had asked like where I got like the Vishal hat or the pointer hat. That was Waggle. Any any hat that I have with like an animal on it is typically Waggle. But um, you're a hat ho. This is Love boys hat. lie. I like these hats a lot too. Boys lie makes good um, hats. But the new ones I got, I got four new ones. There, I, I bought these on like Cyber Monday. Oh, it was like a sale. Okay. Um, so it's a little pheasant bird. Cute. Brown. Love it. Good one. The shape is perfect yeah. actually of their hats. I know. A little coyote. In the, in the sun. Okay. Cute. You are your A little father. buck. Hunter's dad loves hats too. He has a hot cat buck. closet. I think a lot of guys That's like cute. hats. Yeah, but this it's definitely like your thing. I guess it's being like, oh, she likes bags or shoes. It's like, oh. It's okay. I love this one. Makeup on the night. I love the red runner. Cute. Ooh, I like that color on you. Yeah, it's good. Cute. Ooh, that know, looks good. Mean. Keep that one on. And then this is from a different website called Duck Camp. Different brand. Fun. Um, I need to shape it a little bit. It's a little flat, but good camo, a little mountain camo. Very cute. What are you eating, Booker? Oh, cute. Yeah, this is a good color, huh? Yeah, I really like you that. You look one. good in these type of colors. Um, yeah, but that really suits your skin tone. Yeah, I think it does too. Really looks nice. Yeah. You, I feel like you look really good in darks. You think? I like don't think so. No, I'm really more like a. Too. I like. I have need warm, warm undertones, but the that's orange like, is too warm. That's like California juice. That is. See brown. Yeah, it's all about color theory. That you brown know? does, huh? Red ish, like warm reds look good on me. Yeah. But when I go to Waggle, I'll Green link their I'll good. link their site below. I don't really look at like for the animal. I look for like the different hat colors. So yeah. I want a variety. And, and then it's, it's just good to just have a couple solid like whichever. whites and blacks. But I didn't have a hat this color, and I really like the Road Runner. I that was, was my favorite. That was my favorite. So, I don't know, fun, fun stuff. Very fun stuff. Couple new hats in the collection. <laughs> All right, so, want something to put us to sleep? I forgot we have the Dream Hot Chocolate, not sponsored. We have worked with them before, but um, I'm gonna do this cinnamon cocoa flavor. Let's see, I just wanna take like, a shot of it. We had the peanut butter flavor last time. Oh, yeah, we, we made a full cup of it, though, right? Yeah. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, my God. Here, I'm, I got it. I'm such an idiot. No. Ugh. It's okay. Dang it. it. Okay, here, I'll do it in your cup. Okay, yours is ready. Here, I'm just gonna. You can have that one. I'll just combine them. I'm too tired for this shit. <laughs> I mean, surprising it was you, not me. <laughs> really? He's crying. Yeah. Just now. I don't know. He's up. Oh, my sweet boy, crying. 
Let's hold on here. It's so sweet. That's your dad that has mocus. Oh, he's gonna pick you up. He's so nice. Oh, so sweet. Yeah. I know it. Okay, it'll be alright. Daddy's there. Guys, I don't know how I'm getting through this life right now. I'm just rolling with the shots. No pun intended. Mm. Ooh, it's pretty sweet. Mm. That is so excellent though. I like the cinnamon flavor. I did the peanut butter flavor before when I drank it a couple times and I think I prefer the cinnamon, but really delicious. Well, Whoa. He lost it in his crib for about 30 minutes. Started crying. I went up there, rocked him to sleep, put him down. Woke up five minutes later, started crying. Joy went up there, rocked him to sleep, put him down. Five minutes later, started crying. That hasn't really happened. So now we're up here, and we just got in bed. It actually did bring us to bed earlier. Yeah. And we're feeding him a little touch-up bottle. He was too tired to eat before bed. That's what happened. So that might have been why he was waking up. I think so. And he didn't finish his bottle. All right, y'all. Vlogmas day two. It's a wrap. We're gonna go to sleep. Well, soon after yeah. school. But <laughs> a bit. we're gonna call it quits on today. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Now close your eyes. We'll spin around, say part time. You could find a ain't the way that you want. But it's still alright.